Kodak fam. Thanks for joining today's video. If you guys would like to watch us do sound healing, which will consist of um, using tuning forks, drums, uh, different instruments, singing bowls, flutes, some singing yoga, then I ask you to get over to Zen Wombs, the number two, our sister channel, and subscribe. We need a hundred and 40 more people over there so we can subscribe. We have to have a thousand subscribers. And that's where we're going to be doing all of our sound healing. Um, all of our, any any kind of healing for that matter. Over at Zen Wounds, the number two. And thanks. Enjoy the video. Hold on, family. My name is Dardva Sikasi. And I'm a sound healing therapist. I actually call my practice Sound Healing with a Z. And today we're going to talk about the total healing affirmation. So let's start by answering the question, what is it? What is the total healing affirmation? Well, it's a powerful affirmation in the language of Steinun that uses the power of words and water to heal and bring balance to oneself, to help bring balance to the 14 body systems. And the 14 body systems, you can see them on the site, um, zenwombs.com. The link will be below. You can click on that, read the description, and you'll see the actual 14 body systems that is targeted in this particular affirmation. Okay, a lot of you wanted to know where does Stai Noon come from? Um, some years back, over 15, yeah, definitely over 15 years ago, I was given in a vision um, the instructions on, on creating a language. Stai Noon means the language of seven. You'll hear me say I'm daughter by secrecy with level seven and the seven principles. I was also told to gather people and organize them under the name Level 7 and was given a language to also um, for us to speak and to keep very sacred. So the language is Stainun. And as a matter of fact, at the time I was Sunni Muslim when I was given these instructions. So I put together this very intricate, it's a very intricate language. It's constantly evolving and... Um, it has systems to it. Even to create a word, there are systems within systems in this language. Like I said, it's very intricate. And I was shown, I was given the instructions on how to put together Stainun. So that's where, and for those of you who need to know, that's where Stainun comes from. Okay, let's talk about how does the affirmation work. The affirmation uses words and waters. You'll see that I have what's called, um, also was given instruction some time ago to put together what's called the Sound Healing Garden. That is a modality within our Sound Healing practice. The Sound Healing Garden is using the sacred language of Steinun, programming water, and the water programs your water by following the instructions the way we tell you to actual actual um, listen to the, the affirmation when we tell you to listen to the water and not the words because it's the it's the water that will program your waters and like in person when you get a sound or uh the sound healing garden um session we actually um put the words directly into your body speak directly to your waters while you're actually listening to programmed water like in person we actually would like for you to um we like to do three sessions three 30 minute sessions on you but with the affirmation we like for you to, to listen to the affirmation twice to do this is a 15 minute affirmation but listen to it twice to do a 30 minute session oh yeah and a, a lot of you would like to know what is what is um being said in the affirmation verbatim well, that we can't give you the verbatim of what's being said, but we could give you, um, we got, you know what's being said without giving it to you word for word. So also, if you go on to the website, zenwombs.com, the link will be below, you'll see in the description, it gives you the 14 body systems that we're, we're um, commanding to heal. Um, and ev everything else is that's roundabout being said in the affirmation itself. So be sure to go to zenwombs.com, click on the um, affirmation, and read the description for that.
So what is it being used for? A lot of you, you ask again. And again, that would be the 14 body systems that we speak about. We're talking, we're talking uh, the lymphatic, um, the circulatory system, the digestive system. Um, all 14 is there again in the description. So we're speaking to your circulatory system. We're speaking to you, the, your blood. We're speaking to we're speaking to um, just the different systems in your body and commanding healing to those systems through the words to the water. So again, when you listen, I'm gonna keep saying that. When you listen, listen to the water and not the words. So how do you use the, how do you use the affirmation? So what you do, you listen to it twice a day. Twice when you listen to it, meaning it's 15 minutes long. So listen to it twice in one session that'll give you 30 minutes. You can listen to it longer than that, but we recommend a minimum of twice and do this twice a day. We recommend that you do it when you first awaken the AM and then before you go to rest in the PM, but you can always listen to it throughout the day. You know, sometimes I even, if I, feel like I need it throughout the day I'll stop and listen to it or just even remember it remember it. I'll listen back in my mind mentally the waters running through my body I'll remember the sound and sit in a session like that at times but because it's downloadable you can put it right on your phone and um you can carry it with you put your earphones in at work during a break you can listen to it and um you know, if you want to just throughout the day, whenever throughout the day, because you'll have it downloaded. So it's easy access to get to it. Make sure also that you do download it on your phone. Some people listen to it from the email, but um, make sure you download it so you have access to it whenever you need it. And this is important. So when you listen to it, this is what I'm asking you to do. Um, listen to the water. Breathe too. This is very important. Uh, breathe when you listen to this affirmation. So get yourself in a quiet place where nobody's, you know, bothering you. And you know what I, I found recently? We have they have some um, face masks with Bluetooth in it. Face mask. They have earphones so you can go in complete darkness and speakers on the side of the headphones. I found some on Amazon. I use it in my practice actually. Um. So yeah, listen to it that way. Put it on your ears or however, just put your headphones in or however you want to do that. So come to a calm within yourself. Uh, take a couple deep breaths to bring your body into relaxation. Now, when you hear the chimes, that's 432 hertz. When you hear the chimes on in the beginning of that, that's is used for an awakening to your to your energy to your spirit awakening um an announcement basically so it'll, it'll awaken all of your senses and that could be pretty pretty sharp so i don't know you may want to cut your cut the headphones down in the beginning of that or listen to it loud it's up to you so absorb that and hold the whole time the waters will be running so you you would get yourself used to filling the water that's running in the background. And then once the words start, completely focus in on the water. Completely focus in on the water. And imagine the water running through your body. Like what I'll do, I'll imagine it running through my head, um, my my eyes, my nose. And I, I actually focus it in on trouble spots. Like if my vision blurs sometimes, when I use the affirmation and I come out of it, my, my, my vision is clear. So focus it in on trouble spots of your body. Um, so listen to it. Listen to the water. Run the water through your body. Run it. Feel it. Um, that waterfall that you listen to. Imagine it going through your mouth, through your blood, through your hands, through um, through your chakras, through your feet, through your hands, through your organs. Just imagine it going through your body, through your trouble spots, through your trouble in your lower back. If you have, you have um, anxiety, just focus it on uh, clear mental. And this is what I want you to think the whole time. I want you to think I am totally healed. I am to just listen to the water and think I am totally healed and allow the water to go through your body and speak to your, to your waters. But you have to let the water in by focusing in on the water. When you put your attention on the water, 
then the water's in your body, attention will be on the water. And that's how that works. So we, we could talk about um, benefits, uh, side effects, and testimonials now. Okay, I cannot guarantee for anybody any benefits. That's not what I'm here to do. But I can tell you that there's power in this affirmation. If you use it correctly, you should see some benefits, but I'm not promising you anything. But I know for myself and many others, there are many benefits to this with this affirmation. Um, I'm hearing people say since they've been listening to the affirmation, they stop smoking. Since they've been listening to the affirmation, they stop eating certain foods that um, doesn't agree. And that's including myself. That's including myself. Um, since listening to the affirmation, um, certain pains is leaving the body. But I must say the affirmation, what I've learned, it also brings up tra uh, traumatized areas or, or, or trouble spots. Trouble spots is what I'm trying to say. Like I had an old knee injury when I started listening to the affirmation. I was putting it through my body. While in the affirmation, my knee started paining. Um, in the beginning, I was confused and didn't know what that was about until... Uh, it stopped. What I realized is that the affirmation is dealing with what wasn't completely healed and healing it. Um, so, uh, things come up in the affirmation like um, like the death of my father for a couple times came up in the affirmation and like oh, different mental things come up or situations come up but what I didn't do was ignore it or push it out. I wanted to see where it was going to go. And what it did, it took me to, like, all the way to his coffin. Like, me walking up to my dad's coffin. And, um, because I, I didn't stay at the funeral. I left. I went. I looked at my dad and I left. But, obviously, there was still some kind of closure I didn't get. Because, listening to the affirmation took me to that day. And I sat with him. And in the affirmation, I felt the let go. So I'm like, okay, wow. So what this affirmation does is it, it brings you to closure. It brings me. It brought me to closure. I can say that. Um, like when I use it, like, because I, 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 I let it go through my body and like all through my, my intestines and everything. Most of the time when I finish listening to the affirmation, I have to go to the bathroom. Where this affirmation literally flushes me out. It flushes my system out. It um it's changed my taste buds. Like certain things that that I would eat that I didn't want to eat. I hope I'm making sense of that one. That I didn't want to eat. It took the taste out of my mouth. Um I'm hearing other people say the same. I'm hearing other people say the same thing in reference to going to the bathroom. Um, I'm hearing other people say the same thing about memories are coming up. Like, um, one of the, one of the people who listened to us said that it brought up the, the situation with her daughter that passed. Um, she didn't know why it kept bringing it up Why that kept coming up in meditation and that particular meditation is because she hasn't dealt with it. So. What I told her to go back, listen to it again, and let it play out. Whatever, whatever it's trying to to tell her, to allow it to play out. And she said after she did, she did that. It allowed her to play out, play it out. She even cried, and then it never came back again. So, um, it's a very, very powerful affirmation. Like I said, the language was given to me by source the instructions on how to create it and as a matter of fact i even did a water experiment let me tell you about that so with the water experiment what i did was i did the i think his name is saro emoto the japanese man he has a book called the hidden messages of water check that out it's on amazon um and he talked about how water holds memory, you know, and I wanted to see it for myself. So I, he said his experiment was he put rice in three jars, one with the word love, one with the word hate, and one 
with nothing. So every day with the one with love, he spoke love to it. The one with hate, he said hate to it. The one with nothing, he ignored it. So after, I'm not sure, I think it was a 30-day test, I'm not sure. He goes back to it. The one with hate was rotten. The one with love was still intact. And the one with ignore was like putrefied and really bad. So he also basically make to go back what shows what water what's happening to the water in our bodies you know how we can influence and program water so also he would he would do this with those words and he would freeze flash freeze the water now the ones with hate on it and in classical music would form these really beautiful crystals the ones with uh hate and like rock music and heavy metal would form these really distorted crystals, again, showing you what's happening within our own bodies. And, you know, I learned this after Source gave me um, this work, the Sound Healing Garden. So on my search, trying to figure out why am I being told to use water, that's one of the first books I ran into some years back, um, trying to learn about water. So I did the experiment. I took five jars, and in English, I put love and hate one was ignored. The other two jars left, I put um, Haida, that's Steinun, that's hate in Steinun, and I put um, um, his louse, his louse, which is love in Steinun. Now, um, the one that was ignored, literally, I, and mind you, I kept these jars. For over two years. And the day that I, I decided to take them out and pour them out. I did not record it. And I really wish I had. Because of what I discovered. So the one with. um, The one that was ignored. The jar completely dried up. In two years. It was. um, Excuse me. I put white rice in the jars. But it was brown rice. A dirty brown rice. And it, and it was dehydrated. There was nothing in the jar. The one with hate was funky. Some kind of funky little film of funk in there. The one with love looked just like rice. Looked just like the rice I put in there, except it was a little milky. Like a little milky in the jar. Now the one with Haida, H-A-D-A, do the experiment yourself. The one with Haida... Hatenstein Noon was worse than all of them. It had a thick, moldy thing in there. I don't know what it was, but it was disgusting and stink. But surprisingly, the one with um, his louse, the water was dirty. So I was surprised because, you know, it was in the language. So it was like the top of the water was dirty, but the bottom was pure white. So when I opened the jar... What I've realized is that the this this word Haida literally separated the chemicals that was in this rice, like like it separated the chemicals that was in this rice, like um the pesticides and stuff that was in the rice. Cause I just got a regular bag of rice, and it separated it out of the rice, and like the word love, how th that was a little milky and cloudy, so was this. But when it happened, this, the word, um, his louse had unified the rice. It dissolved it. None of them were dissolved. It dissolved it into like one rice. And I'm going to tell you why I say one rice. So when I poured it off the, the stuff off the top, it was completely separated from the pure white rice at the bottom. It took all the impurities out of it in this jar. And when I poured it off, the, the rice had dissolved into this thick, substance and when I poured it in the sink it all turned hard as it started drying out it turned it hard so it, it broke all the rice down and made it one thing so when you poured it out it solidified as one thing it unified it and that I want I wanted myself that I want to be unified within that I, I want it the filth in my body to be removed and that's what this language did that's what love and Steinun did. Hate and Steinun was it was so powerful. It it 
I don't know what was formed in that jar, but it was, it was thick. It was about an inch thick that slipped off the top and slipped down the drain. I don't know what it was, but the smell was horrible. Cause in, in our in the language that noon, we don't use um um degrading words or curse words or anything in Stai noon. Stai noon doesn't know that. So that experiment was the was the first word created in Stai noon. That was of disagreeable energy. Cause other than that, there is no words of disagreeableness in Stai noon. Um, and I would never create another one. There's no need. So that's another reason why we do not teach people what this language is after doing the experiment myself and seeing how powerful it is I was already told to keep it sacred and secret but to give it away I don't know what people would do with it so we'll teach certain words but we don't teach the language necessarily or show um, the symbols for the words and anything like that so, like, you could do the experiment yourself, Haida, H-A-D-A, and Hislaus, H-I-S-T, L-O-U-S-T, Hislaus means love, just the word love. So, do the experiment, the rice experiment yourself in English and in Stainun. Like I say, I had it in the jar over two years, over two years, and that was my results. Leave it in there for six months. Leave it in there for 30 days. See what happens in 30 days. Leave, leave it in there for six months, for 30 days, and see what happened um, in these times. So that's that's the affirmation. Um, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. We will get to you. Make sure you get to the channel where we're going to be doing our sound or sound with a Z. Sound healing, as a matter of fact. The new channel is Zen Wombs. Right now it's Zen Wombs 2, our sister channel. But I'm I'm I was going the channel was gonna be Zen Wombs tuning. But it may now be Zen Wombs Sound. We're working on it. One of the two. But right now you can get to that channel, Zen Wombs 2. Uh this video is gonna be on that channel. So Zen Wombs 2. I appreciate y'all and, and that's what the total healing information is about. Get yours. Oh, and another question, real quick. They asked, why is the affirmation only $25? I wanted the affirmation to be affordable. Everybody uh, is just not in a in good positions right now. Um, this is to help other people out. This is to introduce y'all to what it is. I'm, we'll be coming out with a lot more um, affirmations in Stanoon that'll be targeting different, different things, different elements. That'll be targeting diabetes, that'll be targeting high blood pressure, that'll be targeting um, cancer, that'll be targeting different things. So, um, like I say, I'm not making anybody any promises. This is this is the work I do, this is the work I believe in, and this work has worked for me. Um, and I hope it worked for you. So I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. And thanks for being here. And um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. And I'll talk to y'all soon. The fuck is that? Oh, so, um, yeah, a lot of times I listen to affirmation. I have to go to the bathroom. Where this affirmation literally flushes. Enjoy the video. Hold on.